Interstellar travel, the idea of traveling beyond our own solar system to explore and possibly colonize other planets or star systems, has long captured the imagination of science fiction writers, astronomers, and the general public alike. But is it possible? And if so, what are the challenges we need to overcome to make it a reality? The potential benefits of interstellar travel are many. For one, it could help us expand our understanding of the universe and our place in it. We could discover new planets and even new forms of life. Interstellar travel could also allow us to find resources and raw materials that could help us sustain our own planet, such as new sources of energy, metals, and minerals. However, there are significant challenges that make interstellar travel difficult or even impossible with current technology. The distances involved are enormous, even the closest star system, Alpha Centauri, is over four light years away from us. To put that in perspective, the fastest spacecraft ever launched by humans, the Parker Solar Probe, would take over 6,000 years to reach Alpha Centauri. This distance problem is just one of many obstacles we need to overcome to make interstellar travel a reality. In addition to the distance problem, there are other significant challenges such as the time problem, energy problem, environmental problem, communication problem, navigation problem, and biological problem, each of which we will explore in more detail in the following chapters. However, despite these challenges, the potential rewards of interstellar travel are so great that many scientists and engineers are actively working on solutions to these problems, and the search for answers continues. Interstellar travel faces an enormous challenge, the vast distances involved. Even the nearest stars to our solar system are many trillions of miles away, making it incredibly difficult to reach them with current technology. The closest star system, Alpha Centauri, is over four light years away from us. To put that into perspective, if we could travel at the speed of light, which is impossible, it would take us over four years to get there. To overcome this challenge, scientists and engineers have proposed many solutions, but they all face significant scientific and engineering challenges. One proposed solution is faster than light travel, which would allow spacecraft to travel faster than the speed of light and, therefore, reach their destination faster than light would. However, according to Einstein's theory of relativity, nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, so this idea remains purely theoretical. Another proposed solution is the use of wormholes. These are hypothetical tunnels through spacetime that could allow us to travel long distances quickly by bypassing the traditional route. However, the existence of wormholes is yet to be confirmed, and even if they exist, we currently lack the technology to create or control them. The challenges involved in developing solutions to the distance problem are enormous. For example, to achieve faster than light travel, we would need to develop entirely new propulsion systems that can overcome the limitations of current technology. We would also need to develop entirely new theories of physics to understand the principles behind faster than light travel. Similarly, if wormholes exist, we would need to understand how they work and how to control them. We would also need to develop the technology to create them and keep them stable enough for spacecraft to pass through them. Despite the challenges, the search for solutions to the distance problem continues, and many scientists and engineers are actively working on ways to overcome it. The potential benefits of interstellar travel are so great that the search for solutions to the distance problem is a top priority for many researchers. The distance problem isn't the only challenge facing interstellar travel. The time problem is another significant obstacle that we need to overcome. As spacecraft approach the speed of light, time dilation and other relativistic effects would cause time to slow down on the spacecraft relative to time on Earth. This means that while the travelers on the spacecraft may experience only a few years or even months, decades or even centuries would have passed on Earth. The time problem poses significant psychological and social challenges. Sending humans on multi-generational space missions means that many generations of people would be born, live, and die on the spacecraft before reaching their destination. This presents ethical and moral dilemmas about whether it's acceptable to subject generations of people to a life without ever seeing their destination. One proposed solution to the time problem is suspended animation, where astronauts would be put into a state of suspended animation for the duration of the journey, essentially pausing their aging. However, the technology for suspended animation is still in its early stages, and it's unclear if it could be used for long-duration space travel. Another proposed solution is digital consciousness, where human consciousness would be uploaded into a digital format and transmitted to the destination. This idea is still purely theoretical, and it raises significant ethical questions about the nature of consciousness and identity. The challenges involved in developing solutions to the time problem are significant. 
even if we can solve the technical challenges of suspended animation or digital consciousness, we still need to address the psychological and social challenges of multi-generational space missions. The ethical implications of sending generations of people on space missions without ever seeing their destination is a topic of debate in the scientific and philosophical communities. Despite the challenges, researchers continue to explore solutions to the time problem, recognizing that overcoming it is essential for making interstellar travel a reality. Another significant obstacle facing interstellar travel is the enormous amounts of energy required to propel a spacecraft at even a fraction of the speed of light. According to the laws of physics, the energy required to accelerate a spacecraft increases exponentially as its speed approaches the speed of light. This means that achieving high speeds for interstellar travel would require vast amounts of energy. To overcome the energy problem, scientists and engineers have proposed many potential sources of energy, such as antimatter, fusion, or black hole engines. Antimatter engines would work by using the energy released when matter and antimatter annihilate each other. Fusion engines would work by using the same process that powers the sun, combining hydrogen atoms to produce helium and releasing large amounts of energy in the process. Black hole engines would work by using the immense gravitational forces of black holes to accelerate spacecraft to high speeds. All of these sources of energy have their scientific and engineering challenges. For example, producing and storing antimatter requires enormous amounts of energy, and we currently don't have the technology to do so efficiently. Similarly, achieving controlled fusion on Earth has proven challenging, and we don't yet have a working fusion reactor. The concept of black hole engines remains theoretical and would require a significant understanding of the physics of black holes. Despite the challenges, researchers are actively working on developing these sources of energy and finding new ways to generate the vast amounts of energy required for interstellar travel. The search for a viable source of energy is critical because it's the foundation for developing any spacecraft capable of interstellar travel. In addition to developing new sources of energy, we need to develop spacecraft that are efficient at using that energy. We need to find ways to minimize energy loss during propulsion and reduce the weight of spacecraft, so they require less energy to accelerate. In conclusion, the energy problem is a significant obstacle facing interstellar travel. However, scientists and engineers are working on developing new sources of energy and spacecraft technologies to overcome this challenge. The potential benefits of interstellar travel are vast, and the search for solutions to the energy problem continues to be a top priority for researchers. Interstellar travel poses potential environmental problems that could have far-reaching consequences. One of the most significant concerns is radiation exposure. Cosmic radiation in space can damage spacecraft and harm astronauts, leading to health problems such as cancer and neurological disorders. Shielding against radiation is challenging because it requires materials that are both lightweight and effective at blocking radiation. Another concern is the risk of contaminating other planets with Earth-based life forms. Any exploration or colonization effort would need to ensure that Earth-based life forms don't inadvertently contaminate other planets and potentially disrupt or destroy any native life forms. The ethical and legal considerations of interstellar exploration are complex and must be taken seriously to prevent unintended consequences. To address these concerns, scientists and engineers have proposed several solutions. One solution is terraforming, which involves transforming a planet's atmosphere, temperature, and other conditions to make it habitable for humans. This process could take hundreds or even thousands of years, but it could allow us to create a sustainable environment on other planets without disrupting native life forms. Another proposed solution is bioengineered life forms. These organisms would be designed to survive in harsh environments and could potentially thrive on other planets without the need for extensive terraforming. However, creating such organisms raises ethical questions about the manipulation of life and the potential for unintended consequences. Ultimately, the environmental problem requires a multidisciplinary approach that involves not only scientists and engineers but also ethicists, legal experts, and policymakers. Solutions must be carefully considered to ensure that interstellar travel is both safe for humans and respectful of any native life forms. Interstellar travel also poses a significant communication problem. The distances between stars are so vast that even with the fastest possible communication technology, it would take years or even centuries for a message to travel from one star system to another. This delay can cause significant problems, such as difficulty coordinating and communicating with crew members or establishing contact with other civilizations. To address the communication problem, scientists and engineers have proposed several solutions. 
One solution is quantum entanglement, which involves creating two particles that are intrinsically linked so that changes made to one particle are instantly reflected in the other, regardless of the distance between them. This approach could potentially allow for instant communication across vast distances, but it requires precise control over quantum particles, which is a significant scientific and engineering challenge. Another proposed solution is subspace communication, which involves sending messages through an alternate dimension or subspace. This approach has been popularized in science fiction, but it's unclear whether it's scientifically feasible or how it would work in practice. Other proposed solutions include using powerful lasers or gravitational waves to transmit information across long distances, but these approaches also face significant scientific and engineering challenges. Overall, the communication problem requires a careful consideration of the available technologies and their limitations. Any solution must be scientifically feasible and take into account the vast distances and time delays involved in interstellar communication. Developing such solutions will require significant scientific and engineering breakthroughs, as well as collaboration across multiple fields of study. Navigating through interstellar space is an incredibly difficult task. Unlike on Earth, where landmarks and GPS systems can help us determine our location and orientation, interstellar space is largely featureless, making it challenging to determine one's position and direction. To navigate through space, spacecraft must be precisely oriented and equipped with sophisticated navigation systems. These systems use a variety of techniques, such as star trackers, gyroscopes, and accelerometers, to determine the spacecraft's orientation and position relative to the stars. One proposed solution to the navigation problem is using pulsars as navigation beacons. Pulsars are rapidly rotating neutron stars that emit beams of radiation at regular intervals. By measuring the timing of these pulses, spacecraft can determine their location and orientation with incredible accuracy. However, this approach requires the spacecraft to be equipped with precise timing equipment and must be within range of a pulsar. Another proposed solution is using celestial objects for navigation. For example, spacecraft could use the position of stars and galaxies to determine their location and orientation. This approach has been used by astronomers for centuries, but it requires a high degree of accuracy and can be difficult to implement on a spacecraft traveling at high speeds. Overall, the navigation problem requires a careful consideration of the available technologies and their limitations. Any solution must be scientifically feasible and take into account the vast distances and time delays involved in interstellar travel. Developing such solutions will require significant scientific and engineering breakthroughs, as well as collaboration across multiple fields of study. Interstellar travel poses a significant challenge for living organisms, as they must be able to survive in a harsh and unforgiving environment for an extended period. Without proper protection in a suitable environment, the human body can experience a range of adverse effects, such as muscle atrophy, bone density loss, and radiation exposure. Long-duration spaceflight can also have a significant impact on the human psyche. The isolation, confinement, and lack of sensory stimulation can lead to depression, anxiety, and other mental health problems. One proposed solution to the biological problem is the use of advanced medical technologies. For example, spacecraft could be equipped with artificial gravity systems to counteract the effects of microgravity on the body. Additionally, medical technologies such as regenerative medicine, gene therapy, and cryonics could be used to repair damaged tissues and organs, prolonging the lifespan of the crew. Another proposed solution is genetic engineering, where the genetic makeup of astronauts could be modified to better withstand the effects of spaceflight. This could involve the insertion of genes for radiation resistance or enhanced muscle and bone growth. However, such solutions pose significant scientific and ethical challenges. For example, genetic engineering raises questions about the ethics of creating designer humans and the potential long-term effects of such modifications. Additionally, developing advanced medical technologies requires significant scientific and engineering breakthroughs, and ensuring their safety and efficacy will require extensive testing and regulation. Overall, the biological problem requires a careful consideration of the available technologies and their limitations, as well as the ethical and social implications of modifying humans for spaceflight. Developing solutions to this problem will require significant collaboration across multiple fields of study, including biology, medicine, and ethics. Interstellar travel is a high-cost endeavor, with estimates ranging from hundreds of billions to trillions of dollars for a single mission. The lack of economic incentives for such missions makes it difficult to justify the enormous investment required. 
One proposed solution to the economic problem is space mining, where valuable resources such as metals, minerals, and water can be extracted from asteroids and other celestial bodies. The use of such resources could significantly reduce the cost of interstellar missions by reducing the need for launching materials from Earth. Additionally, space mining could have significant economic benefits for industries such as manufacturing, construction, and energy production. Another proposed solution is scientific research, where interstellar missions could be used to explore and study other planets, stars, and galaxies. This could lead to significant scientific breakthroughs in areas such as astrophysics, planetary science, and astrobiology. Additionally, the development of new technologies and techniques for interstellar travel could have significant spin-off benefits for industries such as transportation, energy, and communication. However, developing solutions to the economic problem requires significant scientific, engineering, and social challenges. For example, space mining requires significant technological breakthroughs in areas such as resource extraction, processing, and transportation. Additionally, the economic viability of space mining depends on the availability and accessibility of resources in space, which is still uncertain. Similarly, scientific research requires significant funding and resources, as well as cooperation across multiple fields of study. Additionally, the social and ethical implications of space exploration and exploitation must be carefully considered, particularly with regards to environmental impact and the preservation of celestial bodies. Overall, developing solutions to the economic problem requires a careful consideration of the available technologies and their limitations, as well as the social and ethical implications of space exploration and exploitation. Successful solutions will require significant collaboration across multiple fields of study, including economics, engineering, and environmental science. In conclusion, interstellar travel poses numerous challenges that make it difficult or impossible with current technology. The distance problem, time problem, energy problem, environmental problem, communication problem, navigation problem, biological problem, and economic problem all present significant scientific, engineering, ethical, and social challenges. However, there are proposed solutions to these challenges, such as faster-than-light travel or wormholes for the distance problem, suspended animation or digital consciousness for the time problem, antimatter or fusion engines for the energy problem and terraforming or bioengineered life forms for the environmental problem. While there are potential benefits to interstellar exploration, such as the discovery of new resources or the possibility of discovering extraterrestrial life, there are also potential risks and uncertainties involved, such as contamination of other planets or the introduction of Earth-based life forms to other planets. We encourage further research and exploration into interstellar travel, recognizing the potential benefits and risks involved. We must work together to find solutions to these challenges through collaboration among scientists, engineers, policymakers, and the public. By working together, we can continue to push the boundaries of human exploration and discovery. So, we urge readers to become involved in the search for solutions to these challenges and contribute to the future of space exploration.